guys, it's Jess, and before I get into this week's video, I'm going to kind of start off on a very obnoxious note and remind you that if you're not subscribed already, that you should probably go do that. I'll put a box on the screen so you can click anywhere on the screen to go subscribe, but I'm almost at 500 subscribers, and I kind of want to reach that by the end of the month, so... If you are not subscribed yet, go do that. So as you can probably already tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about things that scare me because I get scared rather easily and a lot of my fears are completely, extremely irrational and I just felt like I needed to share those with the internet. So the first thing that I am afraid of is butterflies. I've told this story in multiple other videos and I will go ahead and link those in the description below if you've not heard the story. That way if you have, you don't have to suffer through it again. But it's kind of completely irrational. There's not really a reason as to why I'm afraid of butterflies. I just am. Something else that I am terrified of is dying from an extreme case of the hiccups because I get the hiccups a lot. And when I get them, I get them for at least 45 minutes and they are like painful hiccups. Like my chest hurts. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack from these hiccups. So I'm almost positive that the way that I'm going to die is from an extreme case of the hiccups. Another thing I'm afraid of is an extreme amount of tall people because I am very, very short. I'm only 4'10 and a half. And when you're surrounded by very tall people who cannot see that you're walking near them, they run over you a lot, run into you a lot. It's really just, it's a really scary thing and you can't see where you are or how to get out of said crowd. So just extreme amounts of tall people surrounding me. That just terrifies me. Another one of my biggest fears is passing out in the shower. I know a lot of people are afraid of dying in the shower, but if you die in the shower and someone finds you, you never have to deal with them again because you're dead. But if you pass out in the shower and you don't know that you passed out in the shower and you wake up like in the hospital or something, your first thoughts are, oh my gosh, who found my passed out naked body in the shower and who covered me up and called 911 and or brought me to the hospital. And that whole idea of having to see someone who found my naked body passed down the shower just gives me so much panic and anxiety. Another incident that I'm terrified of happening is that I'm going to be in the shower at some point in my life and my hair is going to be wet and sticking everywhere like it does when you have long hair and it's wet and I'm terrified that it's going to be like wrapped around my arm like so and that I'm not going to notice that it's there and I'm going to shave my armpit and in the process of that shave off a giant chunk of my hair and I feel like that's a completely rational fear because that could actually happen and I'm almost positive that at some point in my life that will probably happen to me. Another one of my biggest fears that has actually happened at least once in my life that I can distinctly remember is that I'm going to be driving on a freeway and there are going to be at least three lanes going in the same direction and I will be in the farthest lane on one side and then there will be an empty lane and then a car in this lane and that we will both go to merge into the middle lane at the same time and one of us will not see the other one and then we will crash and die. And the last thing that I'm afraid of which is kind of a newly developed fear from just a few days ago is walk-in freezers because the other day one of my friends and I got stuck in a walk-in freezer and we could not get the door open and neither of us had our phones and there was no one around to hear us screaming and I was panicked. I was screaming about how I thought we were going to freeze to death and then eventually we were able to get the door open after like five or six minutes of me screaming my head off in sheer panic so I now am afraid of walk-in freezers even though I highly doubt I will ever find myself in a walk-in freezer at any point in the rest of my life I'm just scared of them now. So those are some of my biggest fears that are mostly irrational. If you like this video or if you share any of those fears or just feel bad for me because I'm afraid of some of those things, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and then also go subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching and stay gold.